Hello, it's Steve with Alaska Volkswagen Adventures. Give you an updated van tour of the things I've changed and done since the last one. I'd also like to take this time to thank all my new subscribers. And if you're not subscribed yet, I'd like to invite you to subscribe now. So this is a 1991 Volkswagen Vanagon Westfalia Synchro. On the front here, it's got the Go SD steel bumper. I installed that beautiful bumper. That is a uh, that's a beast. It's heavy. The previous owner had done a West African grill upgrade and headlight upgrade. They are LED. They're hella. And uh, apparently, I lost one of my lens covers in the last couple days. The roads are pretty bumpy. It's 35 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's uh, above freezing and. The roads are wet and sloppy. I'm at the Kenai River mouth. This is the Kenai River North Beach. I'll try not to get too much glare there, but that's the mouth of the Kenai River. You see the Caribou Hills over there. All the ice on the banks here. Mount Readout, the Alaska Range over there. Anyhow, back to the, the Volkswagen. So this is a 1991. I do have the 52 inch quad stack, very dirty. Uh, like I said, the roads are pretty dirty, but this is a quad stack LED light bar. Cost about $100 on uh, Amazon. It's 1,525 watts or 106,750 lumens. I've got it mounted with Vanagon Life's light bar mounts. Uh, those are great because they're fully adjustable and there's no screws in the van at all. This is a Synchro, so it is four wheel drive. On this side, I've uh, I took the original awning that was on it off and added the ARB awning. I got the Nokian winter tires that are studded. Those are fantastic in the snow. Holy smokes, those things are great. On the roof, got the Yakima crossbars. We've got the Thule rooftop box and my 100 watt solar panel is mounted. It's currently really filthy because of the roads. On the back, I've got the Go SD steel bumper back here. I've got the Go SD swingaways, uh, the Go SD shelf, and an aluminum box. I also have the Rotopax diesel and gas cans. I do have a spare tire carrier at home. I just haven't put it on because I haven't got my summer tires on yet. On this side, I've got the Van Cafe side ladder. Uh, that thing's amazing. Airplane going into the Kenai Airport to land. not sound very healthy. Anyhow, there's the Thule rooftop box. I got one of the larger ones. This is where my solar panel wires are dipped in right now. Run up, run across the roof bar. We got just standard Westfalia hookups here. That one broke the other day, thankfully. It's easy to replace. Sneak back around and on the inside here. So back here, I've got the Venture Libre Westy Bravo. Got some of my tools in it right now. That thing is awesome. It's all leather. And it basically just fills a space that's dead and not really used. Nothing fancy back here other than that. That's got the 2.1 liter 
factory VW engine in it currently. Um, that'll be swapped out eventually for a, either a two liter VW diesel or I might go with a 2.5 liter Subaru just to get rid of the Vanagon syndrome that I've been battling off and on. And with the swing ways out, you can see the trailer hitch. And that's what they look like all swung out. Inside the door here, you'll see I've got the Angle 45 fridge freezer. I did replace the factory Volkswagen refrigerator. As most people that own a Vanagon know, they're not really efficient and they uh, have a hard time staying on. So in that place, I've got my diesel fuel tank for my diesel heater mounted. I do have the Go SD shelves from the delete kit. I just haven't got them in because I'm not going to cut them. I'm going to put some regular plywood in. It does have the standard Westphalia two burner stove and sink. I should say that everything in the van I have fully purchased. I am not sponsored by any of these manufacturers. They're just products that I believe in. That's why I'm using them. Between the seats, I've got Vanagon Life's center console that's locking with cup holders. It does have a kill switch inside. Uh, it is all fully hooked up and works. Um, that is, you could drive a tank over that thing. It's heavy and it is tough. In this cabinet, I've got my Victron 1200 watt inverter. All the wiring and stuff's poked through. Some of my junk. I don't really have anything in the van right now because I took everything out when I was installing the heater and just never got around to putting it back in. Under the back seat, I'll show you my heater. All right, under the back seat here is my Vivor 5KW or 17,000 BTU diesel heater. This is where I've got it poked out. That's where the vent comes out. I have all the wiring and fuel line tucked up under and it runs through into this cabinet through here. I have my fuel pump and everything mounted down in there with my winter boots. It's almost silent. You can't really hear it in there. Controls for my heater are right here. They're not mounted currently. I'm just going to get some double-sided tape and stick them on there. I don't want to drill any holes. My inverter powers this power strip. Oh, that airplane does not sound good. So here's the brains to my off-grid battery system. I've got the Red Arc Manager 30. That is a bad glare. Hopefully you guys can see that currently in boost mode so that tells me that it's I'm not really burning any power the only thing that I've got really on right now is the heaters in my Battleborn heated lithium-ion batteries I'm currently getting my solar power is working it's giving me 20 watts and well, let's see here, back out of that. My currently power consumption, I'm at 99% with it charging. So I have two 100 amp hour Battleborn batteries mounted in here in the closet. And I've got my power bars and my temperature sensor and underneath, can't really tell but underneath it, all these wires is my manager 30 it's mounted on its side i'll be putting some shelving in there those two wires right there coming in are my solar wires these are the heated lithium ion batteries so anytime they're the temperature is below 25 degrees they will still charge or they'll take a charge 
that is the manager 30 that thing is awesome with the couch folded out this is a zero degree queen sized sleeping bag that thing will roast you out of here and now that i've got a heater it really cooks you out i do have the two inch memory foam go sd mattress on there as an added bonus i think that's pretty much everything in here at the moment so that's where i'm at currently with the vanigan uh, i do have a lot of parts i've got Burley Motorsports front and rear disc brakes. I've got the upper A arms, um, rear bearing carriers. I've got Go SD two inch lift springs, uh, Fox shocks with the reservoirs for all four corners. Got a bunch of just miscellaneous little parts and odds and ends, and I'm gonna add. Uh, what else? Um, this is a single knob, not uh, synchro. So that will be probably something I upgrade this year too, is I will uh, put a decoupler in and add the third knob. So I've got a front locking diff. Uh, it does have the original canvas top. It's in great shape. There's no tears or rips in it. So I might rock that one more season, but boy, the airflow with that thing is horrendous. So uh, it got really hot in here. I was down when I picked this thing up, it was a hundred plus degrees and it was just sweltering in here. Uh, the AC. So I do have the factory AC. It is not currently hooked up. There's no belt on the engine. I'm not sure why it was all disconnected. My guess is it was probably just robbing too much power from the 2.1. And they didn't really use it that often. So uh, this was an original owner synchro. Um, I've got all the paperwork, including the original uh, sticker that was in the window when it was purchased. So I've got all the um, details. I've got an entire history of this Vanagon. It's been suffering from uh, Vanagon syndrome for quite a while, uh, since about 2017, as far as I can figure out in the paperwork. I did talk to the owner and she said she battled it for years and years and years, and it had been to six or seven different shops. So it's uh, it seems to be running good now. Um, all I did was disconnect the O2 sensor. As soon as I disconnect the O2 sensor, this thing runs great. Plug that thing back in. I might as well just throw two extra gallons of fuel down the uh, intake every two minutes because it just chokes it down and it won't run. Oh, well, what other? Oh, I've got another set of wheels and tires. Uh, my summer tires I'll be putting on probably in another month. This is kind of a, a false spring it's it's only february so this is we, we still got some below zero temperatures coming our way um but we're enjoying it while i can i mean i don't know how to flip this around let me see as you can see <laughs> i'm wearing shorts anytime it's above 15 degrees i'm usually wearing shorts anyhow uh hope you guys like the little tour there's going to be lots of like i said lots of changes coming I do need to get out and do some more camping. I've been tinkering and doing other little stuff. It's been too cold to really want to get outside and work on this. Um, I haven't gotten done too much camping because at the time I didn't have my breaker for my Red Arc. So I couldn't recharge my uh, 200 amp hour lithium batteries. So my heater would only run for a couple days um, with my refrigerator and everything else going. So I really kind of limited on when and where and how far I could go. Now that I can run off solar power, which the solar's doing great, it's keeping everything topped off. I don't even have to worry about it. I haven't plugged it in at all. Um, but now that I'm a little more capable, I should be able to get out and do a little more camping. I'll take you guys along for some adventures. Show you some of the things we do here. I mean, it's, like I said, it's a beautiful fall spring at currently. But, all right, guys, we'll take care out there. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope... 94% of you that are just watching and not subscribed will hit the subscribe button. All right, guys. Take care. Peace out. As you can see, these blocks of ice are huge. That, that right there is not a rock. That is a block of ice. That's Mount Readout. Mount Iliamna. A couple of our local volcanoes. Around the corner, oh, that was painful, sorry guys, around the corner.
corner is Mount Spur. Did I come back and take a quick video from a distance?